So next presentation is given by Mr. Fabian Dalsemel. So from Tokyo University. Title is Breaking the Wall of Heart Transplant Candidate Quality of Life. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Fabian Dalsemer from Tokyo University. It's an honor to be here to talk about breaking the wall of heart transplant candidates' quality of life using a ventricular assist device. That is, uh, in Japan, although there's an increasing number of heart transplant over time thanks to a change of law, we still have Japan that is falling behind other countries in terms of donation rate, which means that nowadays you have 1,600 people that are waiting for heart transplant. So you have a massive number of people that are waiting for that transplant. And they have two solutions. The first one is to stay in a hospital in an intense care unit. The other solution is to use a device such as the ventricular assist device. So this device helps driving the blood in the patient's body. And my research focuses on the mechanical seal, that is two parts rotating, sliding against each other in blood, and they prevent the blood and the water from mixing. The thing is, when we run the friction experiment in blood, we notice that there's a very high friction and very unstable friction going on because of blood. That means that the battery life is very likely to be drained quickly, as well as a risk of very high instabilities and system failure over time. And that is caused by protein absorbing to the surface. And we have an adhesive protein film forming, and we want to change that um, protein in order to have lubrication caused by those protein. So one of the solutions consists in creating surface texture through laser texturing, we create this wavy pattern. And by running the experiment in blood, we noticed that we had uh, adsorption to the groove, albumin adsorbing to the groove, with amphibrinogen adsorbing to the plateau. So we had a differentiated adsorption of the protein on the samples. And we noticed by running single protein adsorption, a single protein uh, test, that by having fibrinogen first and then uh, washing and having albumin, that we can, having uh, a first a layer of fibrinogen and a layer of albumin creates a low friction protein film. And that was observed by running experiments in blood. Although the temperature is increasing, you can notice here that there was a sudden drop in friction. That means that we create this low friction protein film. That means that the system is, um, we can improve the battery life and the durability on the system. On the other hand, we managed to improve the load of the system to 10 times the normal load. That means that the patient is free to move around and there's no risk of system failure as you move. So we improve the reliability of the system and those two factors are improving the quality of life of those patients waiting for heart transplant. Thank you.